No, you know, being a German architect in America, it's never, it never crosses my mind in a way. It's like, um, it, the, the, the cultural educational background is important, but, um, but I, can't, I couldn't say I feel like either one or the other. Um, it's more like what others perceive me at, and I'm not quite sure. You know, actually, I never quite figured out whether anybody else perceives me as American or German. Um, and maybe that's why I've never really thought about it. Uh, but the fact, you know, having having um, studied in Germany, you know, with, with architects' parents, uh, gave me a certain kind of, um, you know, sort of German kind of position and, you know, care to detail and, and you know, this kind of thing. And maybe sort of to, to, to uh, a kind of technological base. Um, and then while in America it's sort of given me more kind of uh, um, uh, you know, maybe more academic intellectual you know field and conceptual you know context uh, in which work, my, my works eventually developed um, but I wouldn't you know it's sort of like when people ask you know is whether somebody like Mies is German or I couldn't answer this either I mean people have asked me sometimes like, what do you think Mies is he German or American it's like well, I don't know you know he's like it's and I think in this day and age it's maybe less and less. But it's actually funny when you ask Germans; they often like to be not, you know, identified with Germany. It's a kind of cultural identity crisis, and I'm probably part of this of this generation. I consider myself um, either one of the two. <laughs> it's, uh, it doesn't really sort of on an everyday basis. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the, the, the thing about our office is that we're I mean, we're dealing in all of our projects, even if they're very small. With uh, urbanism, right? With things that are going out, that are gone, going on out there in, in the city, and our working method is always one of very close engagement on the site. Uh, no matter if it's a research project or a design project, uh, close observation, long-term observation of the site, looking at the site through different lenses, and basically hanging out in a place to to understand what's going on and find uh, some of the hidden qualities uh, of the site. So that necessarily uh, is a kind of work that you have to be in a place for. And so just by, by virtue of that uh, method, it's uh, our work here in New York Center, because that's where we're located, my two partners are uh, New Yorkers. Um, so I do think, of sort of thinking a little more about it, I do think that you know, my uh, first part of my education in Germany was obviously a huge impact on the way that I think about architecture. I think the terms itself um, matter because people label you. Um, obviously there is some knowledge or ex expectation what you bring as an architect when you're trained in, uh, in Germany versus the US and um, I think the clientele is very aware of that. Um, I would not so much say that you are labeled um, or that I would label myself as a, as a German or American architect. The question is more, um, are we European architects? Um, because I'm from the generation where I had the opportunity to, um, to work and um, study throughout Europe. And I think that's also the base of my knowledge. Um, I think people would label me as that, yeah. Do I feel like that? Um, I think for me it's it's half half. I had the opportunity um, to um, to study in the American school system as well, um, which is quite different, and that was the purpose why I came here. Um, so it opened um, it opened really the, my my capabilities. It's not any longer this pragmatism or that stigma of pragmatism what we have as German architects. Um, but suddenly there is an array of possibilities which I think stimulate our, um, our work. So mm -hmm. to answer your question, um, I, would, I would think for me personally it does not matter any longer 
um, I think people would perceive our work as European work. So, actually now a New Yorker, and um, in that sense, as a really a, a, a city which is very global, which is very international on many levels, uh, I find it almost like a almost a realization of a utopian model of a, uh, a community of multi-nations and, and that fascinates me and it, growing up as well in a small town I always wanted to be in a big city. Uh, I didn't dream of New York per se but uh, ultimately I guess I got my wish uh, from childhood. Um, and uh, as uh, interested as well in the exchange of various cultures and I think in New York you're naturally not forced but you're exposed to so many influences be it from different arts uh, be it different uh, ways of thinking as well people coming here for a particular purpose uh, and uh, that is what really uh, intrigues me less so between comparing German American. Uh, it's two different approaches, but I think the comp combination is very uh, wonderful and, and, and interesting. I consider myself a German architect in America. Yeah, you know, my education is, is comes from here, but I grew up in an architect's family. Um, and I think culturally, my background is distinctly European. Um, most of the time I think I probably think of myself as European rather than as specifically German, um, which I think addresses an overall sensibility and an overall sort of way of looking at the world. That's um, a very sort of lugubrious term, what is European, and you know, I think um, it's increasingly, increasingly the lines are blurred, but there's a certain rationale um, that I think is European, as a sense of scale, as I said, <coughs> proportion perhaps. Um, having said that, on occasion people talk to me about, you know, how are women architects different from male architects and yeah you can talk about those differences mm -hmm. and so with every with every angle that you place um, on a particular subject you can probably find evidence that is my architecture German and feminine I don't know um, I hope that it's individual enough I hope that it's clear legible and rigorous enough uh, that it is understood as my work. Um, but the influences on it, I'm very influenced by my father's work, by the cultural uh, landscape in which I grew up, by the time in which I grew up. So most of my studies I did in Germany and I also worked in Germany. I think I'm more influenced by European artists and European culture and uh, would consider, um, or I, I think I tend to admire also more uh, European architects or that I can more identify with European architecture than American. I think uh, I would have a hard time to answer that question with just one or the other. I think, um, of course, I, I um, I was born and raised in Germany. I, you know, I had my, you know, all my upbringing there, my cultural upbringing in Germany. So there's a good part of uh, of me uh, is German. And uh, actually, the interesting aspect is by leaving the country, I actually became aware of how German I actually am and how much cultural um, assets or aspects I actually carry inside of me. So. Uh, that's the that's an interesting point, but the question is, do I perceive myself as a German architect? Meaning, like, do I do German architecture? Is there like a German tradition in architecture? And there are certain aspects, certainly, uh, where I would say yes. I, um, you know, this is 
this is really German. You know, for example, this whole question of sustainability, um, that is like, it's a German theme. Um, it's, I grew up with it. I would rather say that um, uh, the move from Berlin to New York helped me to, uh, to look at myself and to reflect uh, on these questions and to reflect myself, um, to reflect on the question, um, you know, how much German culture I actually bring into my architecture. And it, it helped me to let go of that and to really focus on the architecture that I carry inside of me and the creativity that I carry inside of me and to just open, uh, to open the gates and to let the architecture flow out without any cultural uh, limitations. Um, so, to come back to your question, uh, German or American arch uh, architect, mm -hmm. it's really a category that doesn't matter. I am an architect and I'm doing my practice and I happen to be in New York. And of course, New York informs my work, for sure, but uh, I don't consider myself a German or an American architect. I'm an architect. Mm -hmm.